Hi there again, uh, another quick video on this subframe uh, issue on the uh, W204. Uh, if you haven't seen the other video, I recommend you have a, a, a look at that first. But uh, this is just a really quick video to show you it was, the problem is pretty serious and worse than I thought. So this is that uh, tie rod or drag link bracket that's supposed to be in uh, that big hole there. Okay, so there's more on that on the other video. But basically, I've had a bit more of a, uh, a dig around. It's a bit awkward here, but it's so tight. I'm just trying to try and get a, uh, a, try and get a light on it so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so, uh, so it's not not just that bracket that's a problem. If you can see those little serrated, uh, see if we can wedge this torch up here. Yeah, see those little oh, serrations or raised bits. That's the rubber bush. The rubber bush that mounts onto the uh, the bodywork. Okay, so you can actually see on the top the bit of steel and on the bottom it's completely corroded away from the bush the bush is bursting out of the subframe in, in inside the subframe i thought originally it's, it's definitely rusted from the inside out and i'll show you that in a minute i thought originally there was perhaps water settling in the bottom but actually if we can <coughs> Again, it's a bit, I say it's a bit awkward because we've got all this suspension stuff in the, the way. Let's see if we can get a torch in here. Right, okay. Uh, I think that's the best we're gonna be, guys. Right then, so you can see the very corroded, let's see if we can get it to focus a bit better flaky rust and actually there's actually a hole in it I can't even get uh, if you can see my fingers coming through the back of the subframe so it's really thin in this area here and I put my hands I can't get the phone up in there but you can see there's a seam on here the seam where the two halves are welded together I mean we might just about can we get a little bit of no, we're going to struggle just with an iPhone doing this. But actually, I put my fingers up here on the bottom piece, and it's I can feel the really heavy corrosion all the way up. So originally, originally I thought the issue was the water. This end was actually getting blocked up, perhaps with mud around here, and the water was sitting inside here. But actually... I've put my hands as far as I can get up in this hole up here and I can feel around this other mount here. So around this bit here, I can feel it's all corroded inside here. So, I mean, if the water was getting in, it'd be running down to the bottom and sitting there. But I think it's, I mean, we can see it's painted. Oh, it's painted inside or whatever they've done, painted, I presume, inside. It's some render of the black, but uh, apart from that arm dropping off, it looks as if the corrosion actually, you know, runs throughout the subframe. Uh, out of interest, but I'll probably be a bit fed up and can't be bothered by that point after I change this. When I've got this old subframe off and the part swapped over, I suppose I could cut through it with an angle grind, just see how far it's got, but, I suppose that won't really achieve anything. It's just kaput. It's knackered. Uh, so it's not just this lower problem. It looks as if it's starting off down the bottom here. And it's just it's just starting off down the bottom here. And it's slowly creeping up. But it's pretty corroded inside around this one too. So yeah, have a look at my previous video. Uh, uh, can't re recommend enough to get them checked out looks as if this is where the first bit that goes 
but it won't be long i mean imagine actually if you had that go and that one go at the same time it'd be catastrophic anyway as i said just a quick video so just a little bit of an update uh yeah pretty bad thanks for watching